<coughs> I've got the alternator mounted on a pole. It's mounted up here. It's got the belt. It is geared. I went through and just made this out of stuff I found in the yard. One thing I would like to show you is I originally had it just with this old chicken house fan blade on it, but it just took such high wind to spin it. I went and cut seven inch wide blades out of a 55 gallon drum and I just tacked them on there thinking, well, it's just a test. Well, here's what happened. I had some 15 mile an hour wind gust yesterday. And that's what happened. It flew off, stuck in my porch, and completely clump, crumpled the blade. So I learned a valuable lesson. If you're going to do something, even for testing, just weld it on there right. Don't just tack it. Uh, something else I want to show you. This is an old uh, battery charger for a telephone company. Did 80 DC volts. Well, I gutted it out, scrapped it out, and I kept the box, the voltmeter, which goes to 80 volts, the amp meter, which goes to 50 amps. Uh, it's got DC breakers and switches, and AC breakers and switches as well. And that is going to be my charge monitoring station. And that's the alternator I built. That's not a PMA, it's an alternator. And when this thing was spinning, it was putting out, you know, 40 or 50 amps controlled at 13 and a half volts but I've got to redo that but it's only 20 degrees out here so I'm going back in the house